happy Monday to you. Welcome to Ozarks Live. Say hello to my lovely co-host. Look who's here today, Miss Janet Parker. Hi, Joy. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. How are things at Krispy Kreme? Oh, rolling along. Krispy and Krampy. Yeah, you got it. You oh, got my it. goodness. Hey, by the way, I just want to say, Janet and I have been back in the office watching this today. Very sad news. In case you have not heard this, a massive fire has pretty much destroyed Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. This is actually a live picture. It's probably a little after 10 o'clock local time in Paris. This started a few hours ago and oh my goodness, it is absolutely devastating. You can see in the left of that picture, the spire, mm -hmm. the iconic spire literally collapsing off the top of Notre Dame, which by the way, construction began here in 1160. I mean, what a loss. Yeah, according to CBS, our, our it world. was, I know, um, Napoleon was crowned Emperor of France in 1804. Millions of people visit there. This is a photo that I shot when I hosted a holiday vacations tour full of Color 10 viewers back in 2012. Wow. Um, and I was very lucky to have gotten to go inside. This is a photo from inside the cathedral. Mm. It just makes me so beautiful. sick to think that all of this is likely gone. Mm. We don't know the extent of it. This is very haunting to me. Um, a statue of Joan of Arc mm -hmm. inside. And of course, Joan of Arc burned at the stake. You think of the manner in which this is happening. Oh. It makes me just absolutely it's, sick to think yes, of. I can't. Yeah. So anyway, terribly sad news on that front today and more to come on that. They, I don't think they know. There was some construction and I don't think anybody knows exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. But have what you been there? I have not. I hope to go there someday. It's on my bucket list. But, you know, I mean, what bad timing during Holy Week. I, I know. Mean, that's Someone That's was so just tragic, saying, so. thank goodness it wasn't yesterday or during Sunday worship services or whatever, right. because still it is a working cathedral. You right. Know, and well, so. and what I heard right before I left, 30,000 people a day come to see the cathedral. I know. So Mind blown. Anyway, mm -hmm. a very sad day for that. But we are very happy that you are here. You look so springy well, today. I love you. that. You know, you have all my favorite colors. So. Well, red is my favorite. Did the snow make you just want to bust out the spring uh, attire. Wasn't that Could you crazy believe that? yesterday? I mean, I got up to go to church with my, my family. Mm -hmm. My dad goes to church over here on the north side of Springville. And I looked out the window and I go, what is, it's Missouri, it's Missouri, you know? And then by the afternoon, it was what, 62 degrees or whatever. And yeah, you know, no, no snow after that. But I know it was, <laughs> it was a very strange day because we had the snow first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. and it just looked like it was gonna be one of those snowy, put on a pot of chili kind of days. Absolutely. And then like you said, the Masters is on early because the weather was bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm laying around trying to take care of my allergies, watching Tiger Woods win the Masters, which was really cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Then I went out to run a few errands and it was just like starting a whole new day over because all of a sudden we're without coats. I know. It's sunny. Usually the Masters ends later in the day, and so mm -hmm. it was just like my whole day was, you know, Well, you strange. know that whole, you know, if you don't like the weather in Missouri, wait a minute. Oh. That was yesterday yeah. for sure. Yeah. So The snow will be over in an mm -hmm. hour, so we'll be fine. Yes. Anyway, glad to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad so excited. Glad it's warmer, for sure. Yes. We have got a really fun show for you this afternoon. Archie from Perkins is cooking over in the kitchen. Uh, we got a little bit of live music coming up as well, but we want to talk real quick about the donuts, of course. Of course. Because Easter's coming up, and you can see all the beautiful donuts that they have at Krispy Kreme. One more time, would you tell us what you have? Yes, so in the Easter basket today, we have the strawberry cream filled egg. So the icing on top is the strawberry flavor, and there's white cream in the middle. You said you kind of think that's your favorite? I think it is, yeah, because, yeah, you know, strawberry is just, you know, any fruit is tasty, of it's course. It's beautiful, you know? too. But, you know, I mean, this is a great little Easter basket. I did throw a couple candies in there and everything, and you're, you're good. And then, of course, you know, you're going to have Sunday dinner with your family or your friends or whatever. There's a, a platter of donuts or a box of donuts or whatever. I mean, it, you, you didn't have to break a sweat. You no. Let, you let us help you, you know, bring a little bit more joy to your celebration. Yeah. And, and we, of course, love to do it. And just right around the corner, Joy, I mean, less than like 30 days is all the high schoolers will be out and headed into the world. I was just about to say the congrats grad. I, I mean, noticed here we did this last year for Hillcrest Homecoming. You were kind yes. enough to send over like a ton of them for the kids, which is great. Great and fundraiser too. Absolutely. And you know, my son is graduating this year from oh, Central. And wow. so these will actually be at our graduation party with him. 
So well, congrats to him for yes. sure. But you know what? Let let you guys take care of all of this business oh, for yes, you. Yes, absolutely. The Easter basket, nobody can build it like you guys can. So I mean, it's t cute and tasty. Don't forget the maple glaze, though. That's right. The maple top, the maple iced. Oh, yes. My favorite. That needs to go in a yeah, joy the, basket. Yeah, make yes. sure the Easter Bunny mm -hmm. knows about that. Okay, as we mentioned, Archie is cooking in the kitchen. We are also going to check in so with good. House Key Flat Fee Realty. Mm. That does smell good over there, doesn't it? All right, but before we get to it, Janet, I want to share what is on my radar. All right, let me see. Okay, the first one. I have three. Okay. All right. Number one, you like rosé? Oh yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Okay, it's a, been a big thing for at least a couple of years now, rosé. But there's a new game in town. You ready? You ever hear of orange wine? No, but I'll I'll be first in line. Okay, me too. Mm -hmm. Everybody is talking about it. Now, don't misunderstand me. This is not a wine made from oranges or flavored with oranges. It's an orange colored wine. It is made from white grapes. The skin of the grape stays on for a while, for a few hours to several months, depending on what they want the color to look like, which mm. I think is interesting. By contrast, wow. rosé is made from the red grapes with the skins removed. Now, anyway, these orange wines are said to have a more earthy richness than a white or a rosé. You might even mm. taste a little apricot, which sounds great to me, a little nutmeg, mm. maybe a little hint of apple cider or even mushrooms getting back to the earthy flavor. This particular one is from a company called The Crusher. I don't know if they're making a play on Orange Crush or right. what they're doing, but uh, orange wines are said to pair well with smoked foods, cured meats, and ethnic cuisines like Indian and Moroccan. So if you see somebody out with a glass of orange wine. Oh, I'm gonna have to look for it now. It sounds so delicious. Sip. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, orange wine. So if you see mm. it, it's not like a candy thing here at right. all. Apparently, it's really good. So. Wow. What will they think of next? I don't know, but I'm sorry I didn't have any for us to taste because it would have oh. been a perfect day for that. All right, I got another food trend I need you to know about. You know about Taco Tuesday? Oh, yeah, I love Taco Tuesday. Of course. Taco's usually cheaper, right, mm -hmm. on Tuesday. They, all the Mexican restaurants want to get you in the door. Right. All right, there is a restaurant in the Riviera Maya that, according to Mexico News Daily, is doing kind of the opposite for hmm. Taco Day. This taco at the Grand Avella Resort in Los Cabos will set you back $25,000. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. All right, here's why. I still don't get it, but here's why they say it costs 25 grand. It has Kobe beef, black truffle brie cheese, beluga caviar, white truffles and lobster, and it's wrapped in a tortilla shell made partially of edible gold leaf 24 carat. Oh my. I still don't understand the price tag on that one. <laughs> this is the chef and his team. Chef Juan says it is totally worth the price given its tenderness technique and its harmony. Of course, he made it, so he's going to say. Well, of course. And I, I love Taco Tuesdays, but I don't know if I want to buy a taco that costs a whole year's worth of college education. Boy, no kidding. You and know? get this, this is the second time they've done it. So mm. they must have had some bit of success with their $25,000. Well, Does congratulations to them. Well, I mean, <laughs> Krispy Kreme could get, I mean, you could half price and you could probably do better. I just, that blows my mind, 25000 for the taco. I I don't want to eat anything that has gold in it. I want to wear gold, but I don't want to eat it. That's what you I'm know? saying. Forget the edible gold. Yeah. Can I just collect that and get sure. money for it or I something? Know. I don't know. Maybe your room at that fancy resort comes along with the taco. I would think you need a couple of weeks at that place minimum. Well, something, but... I would hope. All right. So just read the price on the Taco Tuesday menu. That's that's the moral of the story. Read the price before you just order the taco Absolutely. at that joint. All right. One more because I love food, and this is way more affordable. I'm quite sure you're gonna love this. It's a lot more fun. A couple of brothers who co-own a restaurant called Restaurant Augustino, also in Mexico, have had real success with their so-called secret diners. All right, oh. get this. As the name suggests, they are held in a location unbeknownst to the guests. Interesting. Yep. Diners arrive at the restaurant for a cocktail, then they're whisked away to be wined and dined in style. They do this once a month. And they've dined at places like the inside of a lighthouse at the end of an island. Oh, that sounds that sounds so fun, doesn't it, Joy? It does. Inside an archaeological museum, a beach, a mountainside. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Please. Where do you sign up? No kidding. They fly in guest chefs. They offer surprise entertainment. And the cost is only about 2000 to 2700 pesos, which amounts to about 100 to $140 a person, U.S. That is the bargain of today, I'm telling you. Look at that. I mean, 
you can have your $25,000 taco. Absolutely. I'm going with those girls and I'm going to sit right there for my $140 and just eat whatever those people bring me. And I'll take a, a donut for dessert and one of those yummy cupcakes over there too. Uh, that Archie brought? Mm -hmm. Yes, you will. I can In see fact, it and smell it. We'll, we'll, bring to, we'll bring donuts for everybody. We will, I'll help her carry. I think, that's a, I think that's a fair deal. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Absolutely. We've got way more to come. Coming up, we are moving over to the kitchen as we alluded to earlier to hang out with Archie from Perkins Restaurant. You won't believe what he brought today. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.